What's that body there? I know we talked about it, but... Answer. That is all that remains of the maintenance officer, Master. At the end, he was quite incoherent from the pain, and attempts to facilitate communications with him proved useless. I heard his dying screams as the droids he tended turned on him, mining him like a piece of asteroid rock. Screams. I mean, I know exactly what happened, but still. Recitation? Oh, yes, Master. The record of his last moments were... Five droids, burning through the outer door. They're, they're forcing their way into the bay. Please, someone with it! Oh, oh no, they're, they're through! Oh, my leg! They're burning through my leg! Oh, stop! Stop, please! Addendum. His remaining attempts at communication are variations in Decibel Master, ranging from frenzied screams to gibbering inarticulate attempts to beg for his life. Wait, if you can play his voice, can't you speak the code, the voice code? Objection. Master, to commit such an act would be in violation of the ethics programming most droids are believed to possess. I am afraid there is nothing that can be done. I understand if your limited functionality prevents you from mimicking the maintenance officer's voice accurately. Irritated objection. Master, there is nothing wrong with my communications functionality. I will prove it. A recitation. Maintenance control voice print ID R1B5. There. Was that sufficient, Master? Can you follow me and say that again? Alarmed objection. Oh, Master, no. I might inadvertently speak such a command near a console and accidentally unlock something I shouldn't. I was merely speaking such to prove to you that I could. It is a trait I am quite proud of. Looks like I'll need to find some way to carry your voice there. Or record it. Confused query. I am sorry, Master. Were you speaking to yourself? I think I was. I, I didn't realize I was, actually. No, I, I had some other questions I wanted to ask you. Of course, Master. How may I be of assistance? Never mind. I'll be going now. Dark side has been gained. It didn't give me the soundtrack. What? Why didn't I get the nice soundtrack that I get when I do be mean things and say mean things to people? Because that's basically what all that dark side is, apparently. I wonder... Greetings. It is a pleasure to see you intact, Master. Yeah, you're you're a little bit confused. I wonder if it's possible to get maximum dark side or close to maximum dark side without ever doing dark side things, but just being really, really mean to people. Ooh, we got a data pad over here. Sonic imprint sensor. Oh, that's uh that might be what I'm looking for. With the protocol droids help, I finished work on the sonic imprint sensors. I've installed them in the mining droids, but I'm looking up the original here to prevent the other I'm locking up the original here to prevent the other miners from using its ability to record and playback voices to override the droid's voice print protocols. Uh -huh. Also, we have a workbench and broken things. Components. Please don't. Thank you. Man, these things are fried. What about that one? Can you get that one? Thank you. Anything over here? Nope. Good. Um, let's see. Learn about you. I know how to use it. I can upgrade. There we go. So, Miner's Uniform can be upgraded? Oh, it can. We don't have an overlay, though. Okay, lightsaber. I don't have one. Ranged melee. Ooh, I can't upgrade anything. Curious. Is it because I don't have it equipped? We do have a longsword over here that we could potentially made make. It's upgradable. I think I want that. It costs... Two components. Wow. Really? Really? Well, I guess it's fine. Let's upgrade that. With no grip, no energy cell, and a basic ionite edge. So it adds one iron damage just on base, and versus droids, it does 1d4 of iron damage. Pretty awesome. 
Here is where the roots of the lightsaber begin. With traditional swords still wielded today in many primitive cultures, they are simple but effective in the right hands. I... that's... okay. And now let's look and compare. So, we have the Vibro Cutter, 1d10, critical threat of 10%, yes. Uh, that is basically... Yeah, that's 1d12 with a plus 1 on Ion, plus 1d4 on Droids. I think that's basically plus 1, plus 1d4 on Droids. Critical threat of 10%. No, no, it's actually 5% over there. It's double. So it's a little bit worse for the critical, but we don't really m mind that, I think. Uh, and that's the to hit chance over there. Oh, yeah, we can see that. So if you put the Vibro Cutter in there, it's still plus 2. Why is it plus 2? Is it because of my... Per S skills? I wonder. It says it's balanced. I think I think that is what that means over here. Or at least in the vibro cutter it is. Look at that. Balanced plus two. The long sword doesn't say balanced, but it has the plus two as well. It's a little bit confusing. But here it is. It is an enormous sword. Let's fight things with it. So is this the turbo lift to the mining tunnels is sealed. Not locked. Sealed. Yes. Oh, boy. Oh, hi! Let's see if I can kill you before dying, I suppose. Oh, dang it. Oh. Oh. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ooh. Oh, there's two of them. This is bad news. Good. Okay. I'll, I'll see you later. Goodbye. I wonder if I can get out of combat just like this. Hello. Wait a little bit. I want to record your voice. Hey. Greeting. It is a pleasure to see you intact, Master. How may I be of assistance? Can you play back the maintenance officer's last words? Recitation. Oh, yes, Master. He said that already. Um, so if I ask him about this voice code, there it is. Now I can now I can say the same thing. Irritated objection. A recitation. Maintenance control voice print ID R1B5. There. Thank you. That's all I need. Confused query. I am sorry, master. Were you speaking to yourself? Uh, never mind. I'll be going. And uh, that's good. We got it. And we also leveled up. My god, we keep leveling up. I love it. Just level me up all day. Forever. We have attributes. Of course, we're going to go up on wisdom. Because I want maximum wisdom. It's unlikely that we'll... It's unlikely that our wisdom and our charisma are going to be detached. I think nothing ever checks on, wi on wisdom. Excuse the hiccup. So, that's, that's good. Our skills, same as usual. And our powers... <laughs> I'm gonna go with something down here like drain force although that's pretty good but but mm, the force scream this power creates a wave of sound that does you know what actually the uh it's a little bit dangerous but the force body might be what I'm looking for because this is gonna allow me to use my health as power that's pretty awesome it's, I mean, it's badass to begin with, but heck yeah. It's gonna be, it's gonna be cool. Let's see what I can do. Oh, they're shooting at me. Ah, oh, well. Uh, that's pretty good. I wonder if my power, my force powers are reduced by me having armor. Let's look at it. So I got the minor uniform. Can I, can I, I wish I could. Yeah, there it is. This is a standard uniform. It doesn't say anything about me not being able to wear armor. There it is. Is there anybody else? No. Good. What do we have down there? I can't see. I don't think it's anything. Um, I, I'm not ready for this. I don't like this. Um, hmm. I think we're gonna go with mines. Iron grenade. See what happens. Oh, that works. Well. You successfully intimidated me, then. 
The iron grenades are very, very, very powerful, though, so it's, it's only natural that I got intimidated, uh, that they died, anyway. Minor sonic thing. Containment field. This force field cuts the fuel depot off from the hangar bay, but you don't see any way to open it or get around it. I think we're... Are we on the same level that um, T3M4 was? Was the... I think so. I think T3M4 is over... Should be somewhere over that way. Oh, yeah, because we also were down there. Okay, this thing is broken. Our bashing situation is not good. But this is going to help. Oh, yeah. Hi! Oh, okay. I think I'm I'm getting better. This this ability does based on level. The, this uh, this thunder does one d six based on level. So so I think we're doing well. Let's break this because I can. I okay. Do they have any maintenance droids? I don't think they do. Do you get the oh? I was going to say, do you get stunned with these abilities? That is not the case. Oh, they do have a maintenance droid. Okay. I don't know that the maintenance droid act actually attacks me. Don't put it at me. There you go. Insulated gloves. I don't know what that's for, but that sounds like a, a thing that I want. Where do those go, though? Oh, up here. Yes. They add... Resistance to 30 uh, to cold and fire. Good stuff. To the administration level, this turbo lift. I don't know that I want to go there right now. That very well likely will be our next destination or our, our destination. Uh. I think this is going to open that. Let's see. Access fuel depot layout. No, I don't need that. Oh, yeah. I can enter the voice print now. So, uh, I need to break you. Uh, reflex package, parts, good things. Let's see what else we have over here. Robots. Robots. Oh, my God. Oh, don't come. Don't come. Go away. Okay. Well, they didn't all die. That works. Alrighty. This is the security door. Combat mode engaged. I know. So that is probably what I need to open. Let's look at the map here. So we can't go over there. Yeah, we need to mess with the with the computer. Let's check system ID signature. This computer matches the console signature from where the sedative command was issued that killed all the miners in the med bay. So it was HK. I mean, the HK. The order was given from this terminal a few minutes before the emergency lockdown took place. Numerous safety overrides were bypassed. That's two words, apparently. Or, I mean, a hyphenated word. It, like, old school. Uh, under the guise of issuing, quote, emergency treatment. Furthermore, it appears two cameras with the medical bay or within the medical bay were linked with to this terminal and then locked into place. The camera to the morgue and the camera in the room with the Colto tanks. There's no record of who issued these commands, but whoever issued the command have what? But whoever issued the command have had to ha have had to have full access to the terminal. It have uh okay, so maintenance logs. Finish the sonic imprint sensor prototype for the mining droids. Everyone knows they need an upgrade. The sensor should allow me to issue voice commands to them rather than manually adjusting their routine each time the mining specifications change. I've been keeping the sensor in the maintenance workshop for the time being. I wanted to test it first by recording and playing back some simple voice commands. That was the sonic imprint sensor. And now we have the Ebonhawk droids. Finish my examination of the droids from the Ebonhawk freighter. The T3 unit looked like it had shut itself down. The protocol droid, however made up for it. 
It talked my ear off for most of the hour, asking questions about the facility, the personnel, and so on. Still, it wanted to make itself useful, so I put it to work until its master wakes up from the med bay. It seems to have some skills in speaking to droid behavior cores, so... There's been some trouble with some of the mining droids, so I'm signing off. Hmm. Yeah, signed his own death sentence. Got something here about the Jedi. Been speaking to the protocol droid about the Jedi in med bay? I thought they'd all gone away or been killed in the Jedi Civil War. The droid told me that his master is the only Jedi he knows of in all the galaxy. And that the Jedi had served in the Mandalorian Wars almost ten years ago. That would have meant that the Jedi served under Revan for a time. That can't be good. Everyone knows that all the Jedi who followed Revan fell to the dark side. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, so, we are Revan, if it's not clear. The Jedi that he's referring to is Revan herself. We are Revan. Uh, that's the big twist of the first game. And uh, because this game happens, I feel like that it's worth pointing out. Because I like the irony there. Exchange bounty. Been too busy to enter a log for a while. There's been more and more accidents since that Jedi arrived. The miners are starting to get restless, especially Korda. Korda said the exchange is offering a huge bounty on Jedi Knights and that we can make a fortune if we sell the Jedi to Nar Shaddaa. Security shot down that idea pretty quick. But I don't think Korda and his men are going to give up that easy. I mentioned the trouble to the Jedi's protocol droid, and he seemed concerned about his master's safety. I told the droid not to worry. The Korda wouldn't... Well... Sonic Imprint Sensor update. With the protocol droid's help, I made some upgrades to the Sonic Imprint Sensor, using some of the droid's vocabulator subroutines. In addition to its ability to store and record voices, it now has the droid's full array of alien languages, including BASIC. Should prove useful as a portable translator. I tried to make sure the protocol unit got some credit for helping fashion it, but the droid refused, saying the work was reward enough. I was thinking of installing the prototype in one of the mining droids as a test and see what happens. And we have security problems here. The maintenance check on the droids didn't help. If anything, the accidents have increased. Security interrogated me about the droids and they weren't too happy with my answers. I understand it though. These aren't combat models. They shouldn't even know how to attack. I can't help but think, what if somebody staged the initial trouble with the mining droids just to get them all sent to maintenance and then did something to them? I think security's right. Someone's trying to sabotage this facility and they're using the droids to do it. But why? To free me? I assume that's why. Let's access the uh, voice print ID here with our sonic sensor. Apparently we didn't need to trick. Uh, I think that means the sonic sensor because we didn't need to trick uh, uh, the HK unit um, to say the things because this guy is going to say it. When the dock officer reported the droids repairing the Ebonhawk, I installed a voice print ID on the droid console system. Someone ordered them to repair that freighter, but I can't find a trace of the order anywhere. If anyone tries that again, they won't be able to do it from this terminal unless I let them. The voice print should cut any user off from the central functions unless I get the code. Hmm, okay. Let's return to main console functions then. Emergency subroutines. Check for exits from fuel depot. Emergency turbo lift shutdown. Airlock active. Check containment field. Breaching fuel lines detected. Access to med bay denied. Containment field activated. Trace source of the breach. The system is registering a blast in one of the main fuel lines. The containment field has been activated to keep the explosion isolated within the hang hangar bay and fuel lines. That would imply that the fuel lines connect directly to the hangar bay. If you could get access to the fuel lines, you could bypass the containment fuel entirely. Although the fuel lines are currently sealed because no ships are docked with the, with the facility, they would open automatically if a ship did arrive. That would mean you would have to board the docked ship and go through the fuel line to reach the hangar, however, which would be an extreme means of gaining access. Yes, it would. Uh, check the other for other exits from the fuel depot. Check turbo lift to administration level. Access to fuel depot denied, administration permitted. The turbo lift to the administration level is programmed to automatically open only when entering administration from the fuel depot. Okay, and what about the mining tunnels here? Uh, turbo lift to mining tunnels that nations detected. Venting systems activated, access denied. The turbo lift door to the mining tunnels has been locked down and it cannot be opened. You cannot use it to re enter the tunnels. Okay, then we have a uh, comm system over here, inoperative. I can run diagnostics on the repair systems. 
Signal unit destroyed. Com system from fuel depot inoperative. The com system circuit has been severed with a laser drill, and there's too much interference in the asteroid rock to allow you to contact any other level via, via com link. And what about the cameras? A containment field camera. The droid maintenance area has been sealed by the emergency lockdown. However, new programming has been introduced to keep it from opening even if the lockdown is cancelled. There's no way to shut down the field that you can see from this terminal. This means anyone inside the facility is effectively cut off from the anger bay. Huh. This is on purpose. Maintenance level camera. Why is H Why did HK do that, though? Fuel line sensors. That's... Oh! That's T3. This fuel line depot fuels into docked starships. Since no ships are currently docked at per Paragas facility, it is sealed. There appears to be a damaged T3 unit dumped into the fuel line. It may be missing... Maybe you're missing T3 unit. There is also some sort of metal case next to the T3 unit, but you can't make it out. It may have been deliberately dumped there. Airlock camera. Uh, that's good, and uh, that's not the only one, though. No, it is. And I can destroy the console. Let's enter voice print code. Mainnet's control, voice print ID, R1B5. Okay, open door to airlock with maintenance officer override. And that's it. We are successful in our success. Even if I get in here... Oh, the airlock doesn't work like an airlock. No, no, it's this is the airlock. In order to exit the airlock, you'll need the spacesuit stored in the locker in this room. It should equip automatically when you select the outer airlock. No, 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 don't do it. Don't do it, then. Let's not do that right now. Let's go up to administration. Administration level. That's where we're going. And have we been here? We have. I didn't realize this was the administration level. But this also means we can have a chat with our Luke Skywalker, if I know my way around. And with Kreia. Hey. Found anything? I... Yeah, I found a talkative protocol droid down in the fuel depot. Yeah? Did you blow it up? I... No, I thought about it, though. Yeah, we'll watch your back. Droids can't be trusted. And you can? Look, I could have let you rot in those mining tunnels, and all I get from you is back talk. You know what? I don't trust you. For all I know, you could have caused all this trouble. In fact, you did just by being a Jedi. So before you start accusing me of anything, Jedi, maybe you better take a look at what you've done. I need to open an airlock, but it's sealed with a voice print protocol by the maintenance officer. I mean, I opened it already, but still. Voice print? Great. That means he'd have to speak the code. And he's dead, right? Yes, it looks that way. There's ways to beat voice prints, though. If you can get samples of his voice in the right words, you should be able to fake the voice print code, if you know what it is. You know, I overheard the maintenance officer getting chewed out by the security officer. You might want to check the security office on this level and see if there's any voice samples stored in the logs. And maybe there's samples of the code in the maintenance officer's hollow logs, if you can find a way to record them. I have a sonic sensor in the code, I just need to find the right words to record. Well, that's a start. See if you can find any recordings where the maintenance officer is speaking, and try to piece together the words to unlock the voice print. Yeah, I'll return if I find anything. Okay, let's see what Cray has to say. Kreia, I'm very good with the dark side now. Yes, what have you found? Nothing. She doesn't say anything. We didn't go upstairs. What do we have up here? This airlock door will only open if a ship docks in the facility. Well, I guess that explains it. Well, I guess we're going back to the de fuel depot and we're just taking our 
EVA suit. External vehicular activity, I believe, is what that stands for. Of course, I need to find my way around. It's right there. Storage locker. Space suit. It's gonna be like in that water planet in Knights of the Old Republic 1. It is, except it's a lot faster and really silly. I like it. It might be the mod. I like it a lot. This is like good. It's so slow in that game, in the first game. Can you imagine having to do this like on really slow speed? That's about time. I lost your signal after you left the mining tunnels. Now you're coming in clear. Except I'm picking you up on the exterior of the facility. On the asteroid surface? That can't be right. Uh, yeah, your readings are correct. Anything to report? Huh? What are you doing out there? I'm just taking a relaxing walk. You're crazy, even for a Jedi. Look, you need to get out of there, quick. What do you mean? What little is left of the facility's venting systems have gone active, most likely from the explosions in the mining tunnels. They're venting Paragus fuel deposits into space through the exterior vents, right in your path. Why are the vents placed so close to the exterior scaffolding? That's just it. They're not supposed to be active when the airlock's opened, and not without the safety measures kicking in. The vents look like they've been purposely rerouted to vent the gases to the exterior. And only in the last few minutes, it's almost as if... HK is doing things. Now what now? I don't believe this. There's a ship coming in, sending a docking code. I have a bad feeling about this. A ship that HK requested. That's a warship. It's the guy from the main menu. I wonder who he is. This is a nice picture. Well, he has come. I realize that, Kreia. I can see him. Uh, the the mm, I'm, I was gonna make uh, phrasing. Phrasing. Let's go. Let's get out of here. <laughs> 